Matrix 300. Mike is going to show you how it folds. A little bit of a different design. Kind of looks like they took a 210 and flipped it upside down. They said that uh, they did that design so that they can do obstacle avoidance in all directions. Some things you'll notice as he's folding out the booms. In the front there, you have the antennas on the front uh, motors there, and on the back, you've got the RTK pucks. So this DJI Matrix 300 is RTK ready. You don't need to have RTK for it to work, um, but it, it does give you the RTK ability with a ground station. So today we're gonna um, fly this thing. We're running this live from an Inspire 2. Mike's powering up now. I'm gonna switch it off to him to tell you some of the features here. Let's see, looks like we have 40 people viewing. You guys out there? You don't need the, you don't need All right guys, so checking out the M300. This thing here is spinning 21 inch props. Uh, they're boasting 55 minute flight times, but let's be a little more realistic and say about 40, 45 minutes. We'll get to test that here at some point soon. Uh, it's running the TB60 batteries. They're still self-heating, but uh, some big 12S batteries. You still got ADS-B on board, so you can see any nearby aircraft. We'll see if that pops up at all today. But as Adele said, the big thing here is the, the full 360 obstacle avoidance. Top, bottom, all sides, front and back. Uh, the pilot app changed the flight display a little bit, which I wasn't too sure about at first, but it's really not that bad. It is pretty intuitive. You could switch from wide to zoom pretty darn quick. Uh, and there's a lot of really advanced uh, camera modes that you could do now with this rangefinder. Uh, now that the drone knows how far the subject is, active track has been has evolved uh, quite a bit, as well as some high grid photo modes and, and the AI waypoint mode. Uh, if you want to learn a little more about that, just give us a call and we could get into some more detail there. Um, for today, we've got the H20. Everything's all ready to rock. I think we should put it up in the air, see how she flies, uh, just kind of get a... And we've got that big wide angle lens right up front there. Uh, really seamless to switch back and forth between FPV, zoom, and wide. Uh, super intuitive, uh, very that, uh, very seamless. So that's always a nice thing. Uh, it feels good. You got the external battery as well, so you could. You were probably only getting maybe an hour or two out of. Uh, now you're getting. Thing comes up. So um, and give us a call if you want to get into more detail about some of these features and pricing. And, uh, How does the price compare to the 210 series? 300 with the H20T, and it came in several thousand dollars lower. But keep in mind, some of you guys out there doing thermal inspections, uh, the X-T2 may still be the camera of choice. Uh, it's got a little more KT is, is the ticket. Uh, it's priced much better. What about the payloads? Can I use the Z30 or X-T? Or Good call. So, on so on the payload side of things, you're going to be able to use the Z30, the X-T2, the H20 and the H20T. It's not going to support the... So again, maybe some mapping applications. You may want to still think about this like and, and how they do there. Um, again, definitely... The batteries, TV50 or 60s. See how she flies. So if somebody wants to know what's the advantage of the props on the bottom. Now and just to kind of keep her more... Oh. You could have that full 360 up top there. Make sure that. I bet that's uh, certainly more of a reason why. Also the antennas. Antennas up top as well. Yeah, there's definitely some advantages to it for sure. Um, we've got the single mount on now. You can go dual downward. You can even put a top mount on. You could even run all three at the same time. Right now I can't really quite figure out a, a sensor package why you'd want all three at once. Uh, you know, an H20T with the spotlight would be a pretty cool setup. Uh, but as more, you know, developers put out payloads, there's going to be more and more um, ad adaptability with this drone here. So. Stand by. All righty. I guess it's worth noting too, this thing feels solid, like really robust. It's definitely more than the 200 series. Okay, I don't need this. So I'm just going to get in the air and then you can take off.
All right. I think I'm going to stay more. Okay. I'm going to take off. All right, we are doing this live broadcast with a 50 mil from the Inspire, which, hang on, guys. Um, Matrix 300. And we are trying to track it down with an Inspire 2 and a 50 millimeter. Really? Oh. Camera gimbal below it. Pretty cool. Everything actually tell how far a subject. Also has a 23 zoom uh, camera on there has a wide angle camera as well and it switches seamlessly between the two so is anyone else seeing that or is this uh, going okay Just gonna check, see on the broadcast. Is everyone too? Now we've totally lost ourselves. I'm gonna try to get I can't. Yeah. Sure. It's gonna take over running the camera, and I am gonna check and see how this broadcast is going. Since somebody was saying it's not too good. We're looking at the has a 360 obstacle avoidance and sensors. Also, it puts you're looking at the this drone is that you'll be able to have top pilots in flight. So the FAA, you know, has a line of sight in air. So you can have a second operator and uh, continue everything line of sight. I'm hearing that the video is choppy and... You're looking at the DJI Matrix 300. Um, you know, this does come in a couple thousand less than the 210 series just released by DGI for enterprise setups. If you're interested in getting a quote, just give us a call at quadricopter.com or email sales at quadricopter.com. This is the DJI Matrix 300. Some people are saying that the video is locking up on us. We're going to post this to our page afterwards. This thing will give you about 40 minutes of flight time with these new latest uh, DJI M300 and would like just to chime in, we're at <clears throat> we're at 82% 
flight time is significantly more with this and uh, man it's flying good it's got a nice little rumble to it and this zoom camera we'll try to get some more footage up for you guys soon <clears throat> and the zoom camera you've got this target acquisition mode uh, which keeps you kind of locked on uh, what you're trying to view which is also nice switch to zoom and the zoom camera is already there for you so instead of trying to be at 30x switch to zoom and already be locked in and, and held on so this payload is, is off We're gonna bring it in. The audio was pretty terrible. Now we got somebody trying to mow. 300. Tom, a call if you'd like to see a quote or have any questions. 